so this is this video is about powerflex 70 that makes this weird noise sometimes has some difficulty booting up makes some weird noises and problem is on the onboard logic power supply is a very common problem with the powerflex 70 the independent of uh, the size of the drive could be a smaller or a bigger drive they use similar power um, power supplies on board logic power supplies so in this case we open up the cover and we are talking about this area here and the SMD capacitors those usually it's only one capacitor 47 microfarad 35 volts this one which measures low just a couple just a hundred nanofarad and 600 ohm ESR so this one would be the one to replace in this case so here I'm just gonna remove it quickly let's just assume I don't have a hot air desoldering station we can remove it with the soldering iron as well just heat it up on both pads from each side and carefully pry it up Don't pry too much or you're gonna rip off the traces. So this is the new one, 45 microfarad and below one ohm of ESR. Uh, so let's um, select one from DigiKey aluminum capacitors 47 microfarad exclude marketplace product and choose in stock options and then voltages from 35 to maybe 10, 100 volts exclude all the 85 um, temperatures 85 degrees Celsius we don't want that polarized and exclude the digi reel surface mount of course in this case there are still a lot of options so I'm just gonna exclude the higher voltages still a lot of options and of course we have to choose we have to select the right size which in this case is pretty small and then we gonna sort for the highest high frequency um, ripple current because this is a decoupling capacitor for the onboard power supply so it does work at high frequency or at least it doesn't work at 60 Hertz so we could choose this one here the first one so 
the right right size so this is this is a pretty cheap capacitor replacement capacitor or we could go to the newer style capacitors the polymer or hybrid capacitors same thing 47 microfarad and 35 volts or a little higher exclude the digi real and I would choose the hybrid, not the polymer. Polymers can have a. Uh, apparently, they can have a short. Uh, their failure mode can be short circuit. Surface mount. And the smaller size. And then again, sort for the highest high frequency ripple current you can get. So this is new, newer technology, these hybrid caps. Pretty good, actually. Um, let's clean these um, solder pads. I actually measured all of these capacitors in circuit and they are measured fine. Like this capacitor is the decoupling capacitor for the primary of that uh, switching controller and it's most likely to be defective. Add some solder on one side. And this is our new capacitor. Now we put everything back together. Like in this case, you still hear this weird noise, and this is coming from a fan, from a fan mounted to the PCB. There it is again. Like the unit boots up fine, but it's still it has that weird noise. And we are talking about this fan, tiny fan, glued to the PCB. I'm 
when we if we when we apply some uh, voltage to it we'll see it's just not working well so this is the model number you can get those from eBay yeah, and this is about it. Um, thank you for watching and uh, now put everything back together and you should be good to go. Unless, of course, there's a different problem.